Alright, so what's going on guys? My name is Chopper. Welcome back to another video. Battlefront 2 just got a brand new patch, the one that everybody was talking about. So this is the 1.1 update. And what I'm going to do in this video is tell you guys everything you need to know about this patch because there's kind of a lot to it and I'm going to make it very simple to understand as well just so there's no, you know, super complicated jargon that you guys don't really know what's going on. I'm going to break it down and make it very condensed and easy to understand. Now that being said, if you guys end up enjoying this video or any of this information helps you, all I ask for is a like rating. That would be absolutely awesome. We'll aim for 100 likes on this video. That'd be really cool. And uh, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel for more Battlefront 2 updates, live streams, and everything like that. And with all that stuff out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, this patch has been awaited by the community for a very long time. It includes a lot of great stuff. And what I'm going to do is highlight all the biggest points and things that you guys need to know about this patch going into the game. First thing we got is that Kray is now able to be played on Blast, which is pretty cool. I usually don't play the Blast game mode very much, but uh, those of you who that's your thing, Kray is now a map on there, so that's really cool. Now, there are a lot of new TIE Fighter cards, especially with Iden's TIE Fighter as well. These are a bunch of things. There's milestones and uh, just some upgrades for it. So if you like Starfight Assault... There are a lot of new cards that you can invest in uh, for that game mode as well. Now here's where we get into some of the juicy information that you guys care about. And these are going to be a lot of the hero changes. So starting off here with Finn. Finn's reduced base damage from his EL-16, his standard weapon, is goes down from 65 to now 45. That's actually a pretty hard nerf. That is uh, quite a big jump in numbers there. So Finn's gun now does less damage than what you need to know. And also there's a reduced time before heat cooldown kicks in from 3.5 to 1.5 seconds. And then the last thing is reduced damage of each Deadeye shot from 40 to 30. So when you're running Deadeye, using that aimbot, each shot is now going to deal 30 damage instead of its 40, uh, you know, on the pre-patch. Now, there's another change to Captain Phasma, and surprisingly, she got a little bit of a buff. There's reduced heat generated per shot from her weapon. That's literally it. That's all they did. They, they slightly buffed how much you can shoot your weapon without it overheating, which is good. I mean, I think Phasma can be balanced maybe a little bit better, but that's to be expected in future updates. But she did get a little bit of a buff with her weapon. If you find yourself just overheating that thing too much, then this should help a ton. Now, Lando, they fixed a bug where maximized efficiency was not properly granting cooldown reduction. So, like, there was a little bug with his character where you weren't getting your cooldowns upon completing that small little challenge, and uh, that has now been fixed. That was the only change with him. Now with Boba Fett, the reduce the damage per rocket of Rocket Barrage from 90 to 78. So he was dealing 90 damage with his rockets per shot on that now have now been nerfed down to 78. Now, and there's also a reduced inner damage radius for each Rocket Barrage from 2 to 1.5 meters. So it's going to just deal slightly less damage at a range if the blast radius isn't as close to you. And it only gets about, you know, half a meter um, nerf. And then the last thing with him is they reduced the damage radius of each rocket from 4 to 3 meters. So just a very slight nerf there, but you probably will feel it. And believe it or not, that's actually all for heroes right now. None of the Saber heroes got changed in the slightest, but you could probably expect some to be made in the future. Now, going into the classes and the special units, the Wookiee Warrior has a reduced bowcaster center projector uh, multiplier from 1.3 to 1. So basically, this whole entire patch right here is just uh, basically nerfing the entire Wookiee Warrior, his bowcaster, and everything like that. There's increased fall off and just uh, reduced damage overall at a distance. And uh, there's also higher heat per shot. So they're making the gun a little bit hard to use, making the Wookiee Warrior slightly less overpowered than he was before. What's interesting is that for specialists, they reduce the size of the scope glint. Now, what that means is like the flash they see in the distance when they're ADS'd, they reduce the size that making it a little bit harder to see. They added some scope glint to the falling range weapons, the EL, the A280, the Pulse Rifle, and Captain Phasma's gun, interestingly enough. They reduce the shots on a lot of those specialist weapons as well, like uh, per heat, and uh, increase the burst per minute of all infiltration variants from 100 to 130. Now when it comes to the heavy class, they reduce the area of effect of the supercharged and explosive sentry, th so their blast radiuses are, have been nerfed a little bit, and they increase the heat per shot for the supercharged sentry to 0 0.015 to 0 0.17, which is, you know, not 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 nothing crazy there. And now with the officer, they reduce the explosion damage when the turret is destroyed by blaster fire from 150 to 25, so that's a huge drop there. So now if you shoot a turret and you're too close to it and it blows up on you, you're not going to lose that much health at all, so don't worry about that. Now here's another one of the fun parts, the weapons. I'm sure you guys are concerned about this as well. The CR2 has a lowered start damage from 17 to 16, a lower end damage as well from 9 to 8, so that's basically at its maximum effective distance, and they reduce the damage fall off and uh, distance from 40 to 30 meters. So all they really did was reduce the range on saying They didn't do anything to the fire rate or the actual really base damage too much, but they definitely 
only did make it a little bit worse at a distance, which I didn't necessarily think needed to be done, but uh, hey. Another weapon that caught a nerf is the Blurg 1120. They reduced the fall off start distance from 20 to 15 meters. They reduced the start damage of explosive shot from 29 to 26, and they reduced all the inner blast radiuses as well as the outer blast radius. So this gun got, got a little bit of a nerf too. It's something that you probably will feel along the CR2. So if you relied on the Blurg, maybe go ahead and maybe switch up guns if you're not really feeling it anymore. Also now, interestingly, the, the number of trip mines you can lay down at once is increased from 1 to 2, and they raise the time until the mines disappeared after death from 5 to 15 seconds. So when you die, your trip mine used to only be able active for 5 seconds. Now it is 15, which is actually unbelievable, but there you go. That's for uh, all the weapons and stuff like that. And then finally, just a quick couple general bug fixes. They fixed a patch where uh, both of the officers and uh, Finn's big deal abilities were not affecting heroes and special units properly. It just wasn't working and granting, uh, you know, the bonus health that it should. And they also fixed an issue where each sector on the minimap would not light up properly the first time uh, an enemy fired, reduced fade-in time for a minimap sector from 0 0.3 to 0 0.1 seconds, and there's also some sp stability improvements and miscellaneous bug fixing. And, and that miscellaneous bug fixing, I think, will have a more advanced set of patch notes and we can really find out what went in there but uh anyways that's gonna be a lot of the important stuff for this patch guys hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like on it and let me know in the comment section what changes do you think still need to be made in Star Wars Battlefront 2? Maybe any hero rebalancing or some guns that need nerfed or buffed? It's a little crazy because I thought Chewbacca was going to get a really hard nerf for heroes versus villains, but they didn't really do that at all, which surprised me. So maybe that'll be added in a future update. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but that's just kind of where it's sitting right now. But anyways, guys, I think we can go ahead and wrap the video up here. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. That would be absolutely awesome. We're going to go for 100 likes and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Don't forget to do that just to make sure that you don't miss any videos like this or live streams that I do anything like that but anyways guys thank you all for watching once again hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all on the next video peace out